Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. Last time we implemented the cutscene manager class, so we can see this boss encounter cutscene. Now, only thing left to finish this game is to let the blue boy pick up the legendary treasure that was guarded by the boss and play the ending cutscene. So this is the final video of this long series. Yep, we are finally here. But first, here are some bug fixes. The first bug is if you defeat this skeleton lord and go back to the previous floor then come back to the boss floor again the boss appears again also he is in the sleep state this is because when you move to a different floor the program calls this set monster method so the monsters respawn for normal monsters this is fine but we don't want that happen to an um, already defeated boss so in this asset setter we at the condition like this if progress that skeleton load call false yeah so we created this progress class last time and if this is true then uh, this boss doesn't respawn and the other bug is, when you end the game from the options menu, you keep hearing the same music in this title screen. This is a bit strange, so let's fix this. So, in this game panel, in this reset game method, we type stop music. So this will stop the current music. Yep, so the music stops. Okay, that's the bug fix. By the way, I probably should have done this a long time ago, but um, I'm gonna change this placeholder game title to Blue Boy Adventure. And also, I want to change this default Java icon to a blue boy image, but we cannot load images in this static method, so I'm going to create a method. Public void set icon or something. And here, image icon icon equal new image icon get class get class loader that get resource and type the file path so player I'm gonna use boy down one I think PNG And then set this icon on this window. So set icon image icon dot get image. Yeah, like this. And then we're gonna call this method uh, somewhere around here. New main dot set icon. Okay. Let's check. Yeah, so now the icon has changed to this blue boy. Okay, now let's create the final ending sequence. And first we create another object, which is the legendary treasure. And for this I created this diamond-like gem image. I named it Blue Heart 
So this is the legendary treasure. So let's create the object. So obj blue heart. Get game panel, I think. And also static name. GP, go GP, and the set item type. Type is pickup only. And name is OPJ name and uh, image. So down one set up uh, objects blue. I haven't copied the image, I think. Uh, objects. Yep. Okay. And also size. And for this one, we set some dialogues. We display this when the player pick up this item. So. Yeah, something like this. And then place it here. So 25.8 asset setter. Twenty-five eight. Okay, let's check. Yeah, like this. All right. Then open this cutscene manager, and here we create another scene number. Public final int ending, and also declare some variables int counter and float alpha and also int y okay then create another scene method ending And uh, okay, so add it to this switch statement. So case ending, same ending. Okay, then we set a uh, trigger point of this cutscene. So we start this cutscene when the player pick this up. So in this blue heart, we're gonna create use method and entity and true. You know this is a pickup only item. So when you pick this up, this use method gets called. So here we change the game state to cutscene state and also we set the scene number so cs manager dot scene num equal gp dot cs manager dot ending so this way when you pick up this item we enter this cutscene state so we can type something here first phase 0 and in this phase we stop the current music and then set the blue heart class to the NPC object in the UI class 
so we can display the dialogues. And then increase this uh, scene phase. All right, then uh, phase one. And so here we display dialogues. So we're gonna call that uh, draw dialog screen method in this UI class. Next phase, phase two. So when this dialog is done, we automatically move on to this phase two. And in this phase two, we play the fanfare sound effect. So yeah, we used in the first half of this series. Index is four and increase the scene phase. And uh, what I want to do next is make the screen gradually darker. And when the screen is completely black, display a kind of a narrative message. But I want to start this screen darkening effect after this sound effect is finished. So we wait for five or six seconds. And to do that, we can use this counter. And when the counter hits a certain number, we increase the scene phase. So probably you already know what to do. And uh, we can type everything here, but this time we're gonna create a method to handle this counter stuff because we will create this kind of a waiting period a few more times during this cutscene, so having a method to handle it would be more convenient, I think. So, okay, here, public boolean counter reached, and uh, we're gonna receive target number. Boolean plus plus and if counter is greater than the target then we're gonna change this to true and reset the counter and finally return this boolean Yep, something like this. So you can pass any target number and when the counter hits the number, it returns true. So if counter reached so number 300, so that means 300 frames, which means five seconds. So this return true, then we increase scene phase. Okay, next phase four. And here the screen gets darker. And for this one too, we can type here, but we're gonna use this effect a few more times, so we handle it with a method. And draw black background. And uh, receive float alpha g2.setComposite.
and use this alpha and set color black and then use this fill rect zero zero screen with screen height and then we're gonna reset this alpha one f something like this so we draw a black screen size rectangle with this alpha and here alpha plus 0 0.005 or something and if alpha is greater than 1f alpha equal 1f and then call that method draw black background and pass this alpha so we gradually increase this alpha yeah like 0 0.005 per frame and that means after 200 frames which is a little more than three seconds this alpha becomes one and we make sure that the alpha doesn't become more than one because one is the maximum value for this alpha so the screen gradually becomes darker and after this if alpha has reached one then we reset alpha and increase this scene phase okay yeah let's check okay hmm okay looks good so far Okay, then next phase phase five and uh, phase five so in this phase five we display kind of a narrative message so first we draw the black rectangle so we can keep the black background so call this method but this time we just pass one f then we display a message but I want to make the text gradually show up so again we use the alpha so maybe I can copy and paste this and to draw a string we create another method public void draw string and we receive alpha and also font size I think and uh, y coordinate and also string and also line height and we can copy alpha and this time color is white and also we need to set the font so set font to do that get font that derive font and the font size we're going to use this font size parameter and here we create a for loop and split the text at the line break symbol so we can display texts with multiple lines yeah it's the same with what we did for the dialogue texts 
and here we get its x and I want to make all the text aligned to the center so for that we can use the method in this UI class uh, get x uh, this one for centered text so we can display the text at the center and then draw string so line and uh, x and y and after this we increase this y by line height okay and so here we type the narrative message string text equal yeah it's very cliche <laughs> but it's okay but of course you can type whatever message you like so this is just an example and call that method so draw string and the path alpha and the font size I'm gonna use 38 and the y coordinate I'm gonna type like 200 and pass text and uh, what is it ah line height line height it's like 70 and again before moving on to the next phase we wait for a while so the player can have time to read this message so this time we wait maybe like 10 seconds so 600 Oops. then scene face plus plus uh, okay yeah let's check doesn't show up why uh, what that's strange uh, oh sorry this is not text but a line and I think also I think uh, we should reset this alpha here yeah, but this was the reason that the uh, text didn't show up. Okay, let's check again. Mm, okay. Yep, like this. So the text shows up. Mm, okay. Yeah, and after 10 seconds, it disappears so we can move on to the next phase and phase 6 and in this phase 6 we display the game title you know this is just my idea so you can arrange it however you want and so first draw the background black background and then draw a title name so we use this draw string and alpha is 1f and the font size is this is pretty large so like 120 and y is so I'm gonna display at the center of the screen so screen height divided by 2 Green. So text is blue boy adventure. 
and the line height uh, we don't need this though but yeah I don't know 40 whatever is fine I think and also I think this is a good point to start the ending music so right when we switch to this phase 6 we play a music so here and uh, I didn't prepare any unique ending song so I'm gonna use this main theme of this game and okay again before moving on to the next phase we create some waiting time so we can display this title text for a while so yeah, copy and this time I would choose 8 seconds so 480 and the phase 7 and again draw the background okay and from here we display the ending credit so like a staff credit so first let's create the credit and okay I think I'm gonna create a string string and credit in this constructor I think I'm gonna put some text here so maybe something like this so yeah again this is just a sample so you can change it however you want all right and so we're gonna draw this text draw string one f and this time 38 and y is again at the center of the screen and uh, yeah line height is 40 this time yeah hmm? what am i missing something oh yeah text uh, and credit uh, first display this first text at the center of the screen for like five or six seconds you know I inserted a lot of line breaks here so at first you cannot see this text so we display this text for five or six seconds and then the text starts moving up so you know we can see as a credit too yeah that's my image so uh, and okay so after drawing this text we're gonna wait for five or six seconds so yeah 480 I guess and then she uh, phase 8 and this is the final phase so in this final phase we scroll up the credit so the text moves in the upward direction okay so first draw the black background and then so we decrease this y minus minus and then draw string 1 f 38 and uh, this time use this y and uh, oh wait in that case uh, we need to set this as a default y so okay uh, all right then let me change like this and uh, y and uh, y and uh, credit and the line height is the same 40 so this y decreases a little by little so 
this credit text goes up little by little. Okay, I think that's everything. So we finally completed our game. Before seeing the ending, I'd like to say thank you to all of you guys. I uploaded part 1 video in October 4th, 2021, so it's been one year and two months journey. When I showed the roadmap of this series, I thought, oh my god, can I really do so many stuff? But we did, and did even more. I know we can still add a lot of features, but then this can go on forever and becomes more like a full game development than a tutorial. So I thought I should end this at some point. I didn't want to leave my series unfinished, like um, eventually uploads are becoming less and less frequent and before you know it, the series has stopped and you receive comments like, hey you haven't uploaded a new video for 7 months, is this series dead? I didn't want that to happen. I wanted to finish the series properly. But that doesn't mean I will never make new videos for this series. I will probably add some extra videos from time to time, but at a more relaxed pace. Anyway, that's it for now. I don't know how many people watched from part 1 to this part 57, but if you have, huge congratulations and thank you. And even if you only watched one or two videos and just came to see this ending, thank you for stopping by and thank you for watching. Thank you to those who have left comments, liked my videos and subscribed to my channel. Your support helped me to continue this series and reach this point. Alright, then let's watch the ending. This is the ending of Blue Boy Adventure. Thanks for watching. actually a series of static pictures. I'm gonna press S key, D key, then uh, yeah, he moves like this. We have succeeded to load our map file and, and scroll the background as he moves. Yep. So now we are exploring the world now. Zoom out. Right. Solid area, not players or X and Y. Then implement music, get the boots and the speed up. Okay, uh, okay, so fastest is like 622,000 nanoseconds. To... We also add the merchant NPC so we can buy and sell items. <laughs> yeah, a dialogue system, so we can talk to him. Yeah. So, see the difference? So, 
we can see the background, we want to adjust the position a little bit. So add a little to the left. Player life. Okay, so now three full hearts are displayed. Let's create a healing event too. So door here. Yeah. Looks good. Minus six so forty-two. Let's touch the slime. Ooh. Did you see that? images there is one tile space in, so from the left side of this frame so frame x have more space between lines <laughs> yeah like this we can move the castle but no apparently it can go out okay i think that's it for now the player immediately shoots another fireball. These blue crystal images. Hmm. Oh, he dropped mana. So now the game is running in full screen. Okay, yeah, so we need to adjust the position. its fundamental mechanics in a star pathfinding algorithm so now npcs and monsters have an has a little knockback power so you can open this door based on your light source to a lantern in your inventory until next time Now monsters can swing their weapons.